In this video, I'll cover the two eyedropper tools, Color Eyedropper and Attributes Eyedropper. Before we get started, if you're watching this video on YouTube, you'll find a link in the description below that will take you to our tutorial page on Corel's Discovery Center. Here you can also find a written version of this tutorial. The Color Eyedropper is used to sample a color that already exists in a drawing, palette, or on your desktop to get an exact color match. In this example, I have an imported image inside a rectangle with an outline, on top of a page frame with an outline and no fill. I want to use colors from the image for the rectangle outlines and to add a solid fill to the page. The eyedropper tools can be found on the toolbox by default in the second to last icon. Clicking the small arrow on the lower right corner of the icon opens the eyedropper flyout group, and I'll start with color eyedropper. As I move the cursor around, the color values are listed based on the object properties. By default, the cursor picks up the color of each individual pixel, but I can use the property bar icons to sample the average color from a 2x2 or 5x5 pixel area. When I click, the color appears in the selected color field and is ready to apply. If my cursor is over an outline, I'll see the outline symbol added to the cursor, and for a fill area, I'll see a solid square added to the cursor. Clicking inside the page frame applies the solid fill. To sample another color, I'll press and hold the Shift key, and the cursor becomes an eyedropper once again. I could also go back to the eyedropper by clicking the Select Color icon on the property bar. I'll select a new color, and rather than applying it this time, I'll choose Add to Palette, which adds the new color swatch to the document palette. If I had other palettes displayed, I could also choose those palettes from the Add to Palette dropdown. On the Mac, if you don't see the document palette, choose Window, Color Palettes, Document Palette. On the PC, there is also an eyedropper in the document palette, which works like the color eyedropper, but can be used while any tool is active. For example, if I switch to the Pick tool, I can click the eyedropper, click a color, and now that color also appears in the document palette. Colors in the document palette, or in any palette along the right side, can be dragged onto an outline or into a fill while any tool is active. The color eyedropper also has an option to select a color from outside Corel Draw. For example, if I have an image in a Word document and I arrange my desktop so that I can see both applications, I can click Select from Desktop and sample the color from Word. Now this new color is ready to apply or add to the document palette. For PC users, the Document Palette eyedropper can also sample colors from outside Corel Draw. Color sampling can also be done via the Color Window Viewer, which appears in several places throughout the UI. For example, if I want to set the text color to match another color, I can right-click on the text and choose Properties, which opens the Properties Docker or Properties Inspector on the Mac. In the Character tab, I can click the Fill Color Swatch to open the Color Viewer, and use the eyedropper here to set the text fill color. This eyedropper can also sample colors from the desktop. The attributes eyedropper is used to copy several types of attributes from one object, such as properties, transformations, and effects, and apply them to other objects. For a simple example, I have a rectangle with a dotted red outline and gradient fill, and some other shapes with different outlines and fills. In the properties dropdown in the property bar, I'm selecting both Outline and Fill. So, after I sample the gradient rectangle, I can apply Outline and Fill to the other shapes. This tool also works on text. When I sample the holiday text and apply text properties to the other two text objects, the copied font, color, and size are applied. If I also want to copy the contour and shadow effects from the holiday text, then I'll add Contour and Shadow in the Effects dropdown, then Apply. In this example, I'll use the eyedropper to sample the rotated heart at the top and select only Outline from the Properties dropdown. Under Transformations, I'll choose Size and Rotation. Applying these attributes to the other hearts makes them all the same size, rotated by the same angle, with the same outline. To center one of the hearts in the rectangle, I'll press Shift while sampling the rectangle, deselect Outline, Size, and Rotation, and select only Position. 
when I click to apply the position to the heart, the center of the heart has the same position as the center of the rectangle. Finally, here's a tip on another way to copy attributes from one object to another. On the PC, while any other tool is active, I can right-click on an object and drag it onto another object, and the cursor becomes a target symbol. When I release the mouse button, I can choose to copy Fill, Outline, or All Properties from the source object to the target. This brings us to the end of this tutorial on the eyedropper tools in CorelDRAW. If you've been watching this video on YouTube, you'll find a link in the description below that will take you to our tutorial page on Corel's Discovery Center. Here you can also find a written version of this tutorial.